Jonah lived in Israel. He loved God and prayed a lot. Oh God, I love you. Please protect us hammies and give us wisdom. Nineveh was a city in a neighboring country. They did not love God and did lots of bad things. Let's go do bad things. Who can I push over? 
What can I steal? God was very unhappy with Nineveh. One day, God spoke to Jonah. Jonah, I have something to tell you. Y yes, God? I have decided to destroy Nineveh. Well, yeah, <laughs> they're pretty bad, and I don't really like them. So, okay, sounds good. No, no, I need you to go to Nineveh and speak with them. What? Wh why? They're horrible rodents! You are a good and righteous hamster. You must go there and warn them about my plans to destroy them. <sighs> As you wish, Lord. <laughs> oh, I have such a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Right to Nineveh. Uh, left to the sea. Left it is! <laughs> I'm out of here. Jonah tried to get as far away from Nineveh as he could get. He found a ship that was leaving in the opposite direction and hopped aboard. Thanks for the ride, you guys. No problem. I'm sure we'll have smooth sailing with no problems at all. Where'd the storm come from? Oh, no. Oh, I know. I don't think Mickey has anything to worry about. Can you imagine being swallowed up by, by a giant fish? Nobody, that smells awful. Now let's look at today's lesson. Hi guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm so glad you could join us today. Today we're talking about Jonah and the whale and how God is all-knowing. And you know what? The talk about story really did tell us with those rodents, about running away rodents, how Jonah was not wanting to do exactly what God wanted him to do, but God knew where he was. And when that whale swallowed him up, oh, I could not believe it. I can't imagine being in a whale for three whole days. Ugh. It would smell like shrimp and stinky fish and all kinds of stuff. So, blech. anyways, when Jonah got out of the whale and he went to Nineveh, God knew about Nineveh and all those people who were doing bad things. And he knew their hearts and he gave them a chance, just like God gives us a chance. So when we're doing things that are mm, probably not the best, God still loves us and he is all knowing. He knows exactly what we're doing, when we're doing it, and wants us to come truth, truthfully to him. 
So this object lesson is going to be where we are going to use this sheet of paper. And on this sheet of paper, you might not think there's anything on there. You might think that this is a completely blank sheet of paper. But I'm going to tell you, God knows exactly what is on this piece of paper. And as we read through Psalms 139, we're going to know how God knows all about us. And we'll see what's on this paper. So if you would like to do this at home, you are welcome to. So you get a piece of paper of your own and a white crayon. And on your piece of paper with your white crayon, you will draw or write anything you want on there. So for me, I drew a couple of things that I love and I drew something maybe about how I love Jesus and maybe something along the lines of I love you. And in that, we are going to color specific things matching the verses that we have and we'll see what turns up. So today we're talking about how God is all knowing and in that we are going to read once again like i said psalm 139 and this psalm is from david and king david was oh he was such a good man he was a good hearted man a man after god's own heart however you know what king david i'll tell you a secret he wasn't perfect <gasps> he did things wrong sometimes uh, he made bad choices at times, but you know what? God knew his heart. God loved him anyways, and God knew that David was always sorry for what he did, and David always went to God and said, God, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. So this psalm is from David, and he is acknowledging how God knows him so, so well. All right, so Psalm 139, verse 1. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. All right, so at this point in time, get your red marker and color a portion of your paper to remind you of a heart. So maybe you might even draw a heart and color it in. So I'm going to draw a heart in the very center and I'm going to color it in. All right. Look, you can start to see I have some white on there. All right. So next we're going to read verse 2. And verse 2, you know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. Wow. God knows our thoughts even when we're far away. Does that mean when we're far away from church, God knows what we're thinking? Or does that mean even when our thoughts are nowhere near on God, God still knows what we're thinking? Even when we're thinking about things like Minecraft, or maybe we're thinking about Pokemon, or maybe we're thinking about the latest cartoon we just watched or we want to watch again, God knows what we're thinking. And when we even, especially when we're thinking about how much we love Jesus and how much God is special to us and how much he is our friend, like we talked about last week. So now you want to pick a pink color that's like the color of your brain. And some would say your brain is gray, but I'm going to go with pink. So I'm going to color a portion of this pink and I'm going to kind of make a cloud brain color or shape. Okay, so mine's a purpley kind of pink. And even if you're not, pieces aren't touching together, that's okay. But look, we got a little bit more to our puzzle. Let's see what's next. Verse three. You see me when I travel, when I rest at home, you know everything I do. Wow, God knows everything we do. He knows when we're at home. He knows when we're at school. He knows when we're on vacation. He knows when you're going potty. He knows everything. 
It's so wonderful to know that God knows where we are, especially when he knows we're in danger or when we're sad. God knows exactly where we are. And it says in the Bible that God hears us when we cry to him and he sees us when we're hurting. That is so, so comforting to me to know that God knows where I am all the time and he knows even when I'm sad and when I'm lonely, that he will send us comfort. All right, now pick something that's the color of like what you might travel in. So if you go to school on a school bus, maybe you might wanna pick yellow. If your car is blue or maybe you have a truck that's black or something, pick the color that you have. Now, I have a gold van, and in that gold van, I don't have gold markers, so I'm gonna pick a yellow marker, and I'm gonna color another section of my paper here. All right, oh look, I think that says I love J. That must be I love Jessica, right? And I think that's an I, I don't know what that, that, that might be a T, T heart U, right? That's probably what that is. Okay, so next we're going to read verse 4. And verse 4 says, You know what I am going to say. Uh-oh. Even before I say it, Lord. Oh my goodness. God knows what we're going to say even before we say it. That is like he knows our thoughts even before we think them. Because more often than not, we think something and it immediately comes out of our mouth. That's part of that trouble we have with self-control is that sometimes we have a hard time controlling what our mouth says. And God knows exactly what we're gonna say before we say it. It's like when somebody copies you but they don't really copy you, they say the same thing that you say exactly at the same time, like a jinx. Except God could do that all the time. Isn't that so cool? I'm so glad God knows what I'm going to say because he helps me with self-control. He can go, mm, don't say that. It might hurt somebody's feelings. And so that is always good. Or he can do, Jessica, Jessica, go tell that person I love them. And then I get to share Jesus with them. And that is so cool too. So now you want to draw a big mouth on your paper. So a big pair of lips. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to do peachy kind of lips. All right, there's my big peachy pink lips. Okay, let's read now verse 5. Now, we're only going through verse 12, so don't worry. We'll make this pretty quick, okay? But it's so good to read God's Word, and we get to know what God knows about us. And it's so neat that even a king got to know that God knew him so well. And so verse 5 goes, You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing upon my head. God goes before us. So when we're scared of doing something, maybe it's like a test that we have coming up, or maybe it's like um, having to go tell somebody the truth, or maybe it's standing up to a bully. Even though we are scared, God goes before us and he's going to take care of it. But then God also follows us, which means he always has our back. That's so good because then we're always protected. God places his hand of blessings upon us. If we're walking in God's ways, like loving others and taking care of our family and doing what God says to do, we are going to receive so many blessings. All right, now we need to color. Uh, have the kids pick the color of their eyes and of their hair. So I would pick green and brown for the color of my hair. And I'm just going to pick a couple of spots and color over it. I'm not going to really color eyes, but you could color eyes or you could make a face that could go with your lips. But 
my piece of paper doesn't really go, help me to do that. So oh, I finished, I've got, that's definitely an I love you. And then I've got another heart here. And that looks to be, maybe that might be, I don't know, maybe that's a swirl. Maybe that's a flower, could be a flower. That's more like me. Okay, next, verse seven and eight. I can never escape your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. God is everywhere. That's part of the reason why he's all knowing is because he's everywhere. If he's before us and he's behind us, he is all over. So if you ever once again feel alone, know that you're not because God is always there. You just have to pick up your Bible and start reading just to know that he is there and he'll talk to you through his word. It's so amazing when he talks to you and he like wraps you up in a big hug and gives you a hug. I miss you guys. And you know what? God is the same way. He misses us when we don't spend time with him. All right. Now we're going to pick a color that is any color you want. And we're going to make sure that the top and the bottom of the paper are colored. So I'm going to pick purple because I don't think we use purple for anything else. And I'm just going to kind of make sure that my top is done and my bottom. Verses 9 and 10. If you, if the letter, if I ride wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. If we live in the mountains, if we live by the sea, God is there. He will strengthen us. He will support us. He is our firm foundation. So now you're going to pick the color blue for the color of the ocean and the sky because no matter where we are, God is there and put another space of blue on your paper. And then we have one more color. So wherever you have left on your paper is going to be the last color. I think you're starting to see my picture within the picture, don't you? There's just a little part left. I still think that says, I love Jessica, right? All right, the last verses. This is verse 11 and 12. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in darkness, I cannot hide from you. You know, we could try to play hide and seek with God all we want, but God is always going to know where we are. It should be so comforting to you guys to know that he is with you when you go to sleep. He's with you when you wake up. He knew you before you were even born. And in Psalm, I believe even in the same verses, it talks about how God had a book and he wrote your whole story out in a book already. He has a baby book on you, just like your mom and dad have a baby book on you. Except that it's not even just you as a baby, it's your whole life. And you know what? We still have the freedom to make the decisions that we're going to make. God just knows what we're going to do already. And we have those choices. And you know what? We even have the ability to change our mind and God's okay with that. God wants us sometimes to change our mind, to do what is right, never to change our minds to do what is wrong. So I hope you guys understand how much God knows us inside and out and how wonderful that is, that he loves you so much to know you so well. He knows how many hairs are on your head. He knows how old you're gonna be. He knows how, everything everything and it is just so so cool
and he wants you to tell him everything. So just because God knows everything does not mean he doesn't want us to share with him. Sometimes your mom and dad already know the answer to some of the questions that they're going to ask you, but they want you to tell them anyways. They want you to share with them how your day's going. And God's the same way. Just because he knows everything that's happened in our lives or going to happen, doesn't mean he doesn't want to build that relationship with you where you can talk to him and he can talk to you and just help you to manage that life that we are living. All right, I'm gonna close. Oh, no, we have one more color. One more color. All right, so now choose a dark color. So if you haven't gotten a dark color so far, like a gray or a black, now's the time to use a dark color and to color in the rest of your paper. So let's find out what the rest of my paper is. And it's so neat that even if we're in darkness, God will see us. Jesus is the light. That's what the Bible says. And that where Jesus is, there can't be any darkness. So even if we tried to hide in the darkness, there isn't going to be any darkness when we get to heaven. Jesus is the light. There's so much light there, there is no darkness. You don't even have a shadow. It's pretty neat, actually, once you think about it. Everybody's going to make sure they have sunglasses. All right. You know what? It doesn't say Jessica. You know what it says? Jesus. I love Jesus. Of course. So there is my magic picture that I did and that you guys can do too. And it's a way sometimes to send secret messages to your friends. Not that God doesn't know what your secrets are, but it can be fun. Maybe you send secret messages to your parents. That sounds like fun too. Okay, guys, I hope you're staying warm. I hope you're staying safe, washing your hands and wearing your masks. And I'm praying for you guys as you're going to school, staying home and doing schoolwork. I'm praying for your parents and your brothers and sisters. So you guys just take care, and I'm going to close this in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for this opportunity just to share your word and to share with everyone how well you know us. Father God, thank you so much for knowing me inside and out, that nothing surprises you. Father God, I praise your name that you love me anyways, that you love everybody despite knowing their good and bad things. Father God, thank you so much for just all that you do for us, for all of our blessings. We pray, Lord, that you will please be with all of our families and friends, be with our teachers and our preachers and our leaders as they are making tough decisions for us. And we pray, Lord, that you will please be with each one of us on this, watching this video, Lord, and we pray that you will just bless our lives and help us to make the best decisions. Help us to be on mission for you and to share Jesus Christ with others. We love you, Lord, and we praise you, and we pray all these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right, you guys share with me on Facebook or Instagram uh, anything that you want, pictures, or if you're doing the craft, post your pictures on there too. And just to let you know, we're in person. I'd love to see you guys again. Our classrooms from uh, third grade down are mask recommended. Our fourth graders are mask um, required. So we love you guys. I miss you. Come see me soon at the Brook Church. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you can always reach out to me at kids at the brook.com. All right, I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye. Today we discovered that God is all knowing. That's pretty major when you think about it. how much there is to know. There are even things in our own body that we, that we don't even know. It's trivia time! Do you know what in... Yes, yes, but do you know what in... But do you know what intestines are? So, I'll use Mac as a model. So you chew up the food, it travels down, and your, and your intestines are, are a trail 
are a big long trail, and, and what contestants don't want, let's just say it ends up in the toilet. So the first question is, how long are our intestines? How, how long do you think they are? Since they whirl around, let's say five feet, I'm gonna say about 11 feet. Now let's see how long fur. So how long our intestines are is 27 feet. Okay, let, let, let's measure it. Amen. Amen. Thanks Bye for watching. watching. Bye. Bye. Hope you come soon.